Big win by Clemson over Georgia. And uh, Taj Boyd uh, threw for uh, 270 yards and uh, three touchdown passes, a couple rushing touchdowns. They got South Carolina State coming up uh, on Saturday, and he joins us now. Taj, how would you rate your performance against Georgia? Um, first of all, I got a, I got a question starting uh, off. Okay. Okay. How did how did Mc, how did Andrew get McLovin? Where does that come from? McLovin got it. Have, have you seen the movie Superbad? Right, for oh, sure. Okay, he looks like an older version of McLovin. Yeah, so he, I just, I saw him. I didn't even know McLovin, and I saw his picture on the website at Sports Illustrated. I went, oh man, looks like McLovin's dad. And then, <laughs> and then we brought him in. He started working here, and we called him McLovin. Got you. I'm gonna have to check that picture out in a little bit. <laughs> Do you have a nickname? I don't. I don't. Man, I wish I did. Wish I had something cool, but I think Taj is unique in itself. So it kind of just self serves. But um, going to the game, it was a pretty good performance. There were some things. Wait a minute, how, that, about, uh, how about Taj Mahal? That's Taj, no, Coach Sweeney calls me the Taj Mahal of football. Yeah, there's no, I mean, kinda, I mean Johnny football's already taken, so I like you know the Taj Mahal. That would be cool. That would be cool. Yeah, but you can't call yourself something. Somebody has to call you that first. Oh yeah, you definitely you can't self proclaim a nickname. That's just kinda, <laughs> <laughs> All right, you definitely so, can't do that. So, how would you rate the performance against Georgia? Um. It was, a, it, was a, it was a pretty good performance, um, especially starting off the season. I think that we're ahead of – I think this, we started off the season better this year than we did last year, uh, which to me shows that we're an improving team. We're a growing team, and uh, we, got, we got a lot that we're capable of doing this season, but we just got to continue to keep working. I say this about Clemson. I said it last year that you guys always tease us. You always show us the potential of being great, and then something mm-hmm. happens. You guys know it as well. What is that thing that happens where Clemson comes back to earth? Well, I think that uh, I guess people would call it pulling the Clemson, but <laughs> I think it's to the point now where the culture is changing. Um, I think that you know we can win any game we have on that schedule, but it's up to us to go out there and execute the game plan, execute what we're supposed to do and just go and ball out. But it was to the point where I think in the past that, you know, you will go out there and have those let, let down games, not play to your potential, not play to your standard. And that's just one of the things that Coach Winnie's ingrained in us is that you need to play to your standard all the time. Don't play high, don't play up to an opponent, don't play down to an opponent. Just go out there and play what you're capable of doing and going out and giving your best effort. And uh, that's just what we're trying to do. So hopefully we're changing the culture. Hopefully we're changing the perception of uh, of Clemson. And I think that we're doing that. What do you think of uh, Jameis Winston's performance against Pittsburgh on uh, Monday night? Um, impressive performance. You know, there were a lot of different things being said. A lot of people on the internet was like, you know, well, it was this team or that team. Regardless of the situation, it was an impressive performance, especially not playing any any games in college football being a true freshman, and just being comfortable and controlling the game the way he did. So it was impressive by any standard, and he has to give credit when credit's due. What do you think of Jadavian Clowney? When, when you're across the line of scrimmage from Clowney? Um, he's just uh, one of those rare players. Um, one of those players that, you know, comes every so often, every 10 years or something of that stature, that nature. Um but just an impressive guy. Um, well, he, not took too a, guys. he took a shot at you, though, didn't he? Didn't he say you played scared? Oh, yeah, he did. He did. I think he was just talking, though, man. So, <laughs> you know, some of that stuff you just have to take with a grain of salt, man. And, uh, just continue to keep leading the working. Um, that game will come uh, later later on down the line. We'll settle it out there on the field. But, um, you know, regardless of the situation, he really is a great player. And, uh, you know, you just have to – Go out there and give him his props. He's uh, the Taj Mahal Boyd joining us to the Dan Patrick Show. Clemson quarterback. <laughs> How do you win the Heisman? I think you win the Heisman by going out there performing at a high level each week. But you have to go undefeated. Not necessarily. I think it, I think that yeah, in any standard, you know, it's usually the best player on the best team. That's what the perception is of it. But, you know, you look at the past – who the past two Heisman winners? Um, you know, you look at the Robert, the Robert Griffins and the Johnnies, and they did lose games, um, some big games, but they also won the big games. You know, Johnny's whole thing was just the way he plays the game in itself. He's just an exciting player, an impressive player. But then you go out there and you beat the Bamas on on national TV, 
and things of that nature and just go out there and perform at a high level each week and do that. But for us, um, you know, all those awards are secondary to me. Um, I came back to reason. I came back to school because I wanted the opportunity to go play at the highest, highest championship level. And I think if we do that, everything else will work itself out. How close were you going to the NFL? Um, I had told myself I was leaving after the LSU game. I had kind of set some standards and guidelines of what if I did this during the LSU game, this would be the repercussions of it. Um, so I kind of went out there and set my marks, and it was just like I was leaving after the game and just uh, put some more thought into it and just decided to come back to school. Would you have been a first-round pick? I believe I would have been. I believe I would have been. Well, you do scouting, or somebody does it for you. Did you get feedback that said you would have been a first-round draft pick? Um, yeah, well, you when you turn the paperwork in, mine didn't say first-round pick. It was uh, somewhere between two and three. But I thought that mm. there were many questions unanswered, especially like playing against you know high-caliber defenses. And uh, I felt like some of those got answered after the LSU game. And, you know, I just thought that I had an opportunity. And I had heard things after that, like so many people being like, oh, you'll be this pick or that pick. And it was hard to gauge, but I think that ultimately I, I maybe would have been a first-round pick. Well, E.J. Manuel went first round. Did you think you were uh, better than E.J. Manuel? Um, I thought that um, it was pretty close. I thought that. <laughs> <laughs> you thought can that say it, Taj. <laughs> I, I know you believe you're better than him. I mean, you got to have confidence, <laughs> right? Am I supposed to say it for you? No, no, no. I okay. think that I'm one of the better quarterbacks in the country easily. But, again, that's for everybody else. To, okay, to but judge. who do you think is better than you? It, it, like, if you were just stepping back and assessing all the quarterbacks in college football, Hang on. best quarterback is who, in your best opinion? Quarterback. Yeah. I think, that, I think that Teddy has the best feel for the game. Okay. Seriously. All right. Um, is Manziel better than you? <laughs> I think that – I think outside of that <laughs> – <laughs> I think that I think that I'm one of the better quarterbacks. Oh in the wait, are the PR people there from Clemson? So you're trying to get, wait? Do you have to get off the phone? Is that what you're saying? No, no, no. Okay, no, no. okay. So you think so you think you're better, Ma Manzo? I don't right? think that I don't think that I don't think that anybody's better than me. No. Okay, that, there's nothing yeah. wrong with that. So would you rather face Clowney or more questions from me? No, go ahead. You got the questions. You got it. <laughs> Uh, I, I want to walk down. You know, I want to go to Death Valley. I, I'd like to do it. I haven't been there before. Mm -hmm. But what's the one thing that's going to stand out if I go to a Clemson game? Just the passion. Um, and, you know, you hear, you hear it's, it's college football in general. It's passionate fan bases. But I don't think that anything compares to to what we do around here. I mean, uh, I've been to Tiger Walk. Georgia's pretty good. They're kind of passionate there. Alabama, Auburn, I've been to those mm -hmm. places. They're pretty passionate. But just from the people that I've that have came here and, and witnessed it, who have been a part of those other programs said that, and especially this experience, it was like this one was by far the better one that they've experienced. And uh, I just believe that, man. That's one of the reasons I came to school here. Yeah, and, I'm, um, I'm going to touch the rock, though. You want to touch the rock? Yeah. We need to, we need to suit you up, man, just get, get you a chance to run down the hill. I'm sure you'll definitely enjoy that for uh, sure. I don't, think, uh, I don't think I'd look good in orange, though, Taj. Oh, man, I didn't think it was my color either at first, but it has to grow in you yeah. for sure. <laughs> yeah, you make it look a whole lot better. Um, hey, congratulations so far. I know it's uh, Clemson up there in uh, the top five, and certainly a great start for you as well. Thanks for joining us, Taj. I appreciate that, man. All right, Taj Boy. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.